Hi, I am here at AQS Quilt Week in Grand Rapids, Michigan with Kathy Downey from the Milwaukee Art Quilters. Kathy, your guild has won second place in the Ultimate Guild Challenge um, here at Grand Rapids. And we're very excited. <laughs> we're very excited. Tell me a little bit about your guild. Well, it's a, a guild of art quilters. Not everybody's from Milwaukee. I'm personally from Northern Illinois, but I'm still part of the group. <laughs> and um, we, every year we just pick a challenge title you know, topic that's kind of not specific so that everybody can use their creativity to create something cool. Absolutely, and how did you come up with this particular theme, Not So Mellow Yellow? We have a whole bunch of ideas <laughs> and we've got to vote them down. And it was just one of the ideas. Excellent, so can you tell me a little bit about the challenge? Um, what were the requirements and, and how did people use that? You can see it's really yellow. And the requirement was that 50% of, greater than 50% of the quilt surface had to be yellow and not shades of yellow or anything else, but yellow. And so that's why it's very yellow. So we were successful. <laughs> you were successful. You were managed to make a cohesive group of art quilts and it's really, really amazing to look at. Now, I have a question. How many members do you have in your guild? We have, um, <laughs> Sorry if I get this wrong, guys. <laughs> um, like maybe 30 to 40. Okay, so how did you come up with eight quilts? How did you narrow that down? Uh, we're very specific about that because there's we're all art quilters. Absolutely. And so what we do is we actually, and there's always a lot more than eight. And so we hire somebody to come in and jury the group. So, you know, it's one of those professional people yeah. that know how to create a cohesive group out of some of them that might not all go with the majority of what's happening. Absolutely. And that's how we're selected every year. Well, it is definitely proven successful because you have taken second place. Uh, you've done it so professionally and I can't wait to get a better look at each of the individual quilts. So it's really cool that my quilt was at the front of the line <laughs> and um, it, Spring's Future Canvas is me laying on the ground looking up up the trunk, into the branches, um, to all those leaves uh, in my yard, my favorite tree. I couched yarn, stitched little silk snippets and put tulle on it and then long arm free motion quilted it. Autumn Ginkgo Splendor by Diana Dunway uh, was inspired after her visit to the home and studio of Frank Lloyd Wright in Oak Park and there was this beautiful ginkgo tree outside and she captured it. She took tool and multiple layers of stuff and fused it and that's what makes the whole big 3D effect. Linda Fletcher, Month of Sundays, is a study of value of yellow color and her favorite block is this one and she just used it and you can see it gradually goes from dark to light all the way up the top and she free motion quilt her, hers too. Lisa Giesfeld and her husband built a home and her husband's aunt gifted them with a magnolia tree. And after a few years they had these beautiful blooms but they weren't white, they were yellow. And so that was the inspiration for her quilt, was that tree. Mary Ellen House, this is a ye stylized yellow tree made of cotton, silk and hand dyed and hand printed fabric. That's her claim to frame. She's a painter, dyer does it all the time and this is a good representation of that and this was inspired by a painting saw at art fair years ago. Kathleen Hughes bright shining bright shining like the sun her quilt uh, shows the brilliance of yellow flowers uh, which rivals the sun and the distance often softens and so it goes from bright to shadowy. Mary Beth has the yellow brick road and she used the block placement to create a visual path and the specialty threads illuminate those paths. And Jane Walton, I love yellow, that's the name of the quilt. And she was inspired by the yellow fabric uh, and did an improvisational piecing lecture inspired by the lecture of Weeks Ringle and Bill Kerr. Well, thank you so much, Kathy, for talking with me. You've seen it here, Not So Mellow Yellow with the Milwaukee Art Quilters. We hope you will come to AQS Quilt Week and bring your guilt challenge here to Grand Rapids next year. See you then.